good afternoon. Save my walk for the afternoon today. Um, but it's a gorgeous day, gorgeous afternoon. So I just thought, let's just do this. Let's get out of the house. And I have a nice spray Torah for you. And it really still is from last week's Parsha. But it's continuing in this week's Parsha as well. And it has to do with three ways in which one can connect to the infinite in this world. And it, it goes by three things. Basically, Nativa Shalom says that God gave us three gifts and those three gifts are like intermediaries or um, like mediums. He calls it mimutsa, which means average. It doesn't really mean average in English. It's like an inter, like a halfway, a halfway house between the infinite and the finite. And those three things are the following. One is um, the Torah. Hashem gave us the Torah in last week's Parsha and is continuing to give us the Torah throughout the next few Parshas, like it's all mitzvot, that Hashem is dictating, literally coming from Hashem to Moshe, and from Moshe writing it down in the Torah, and now we have it forever. So that is like Hashem, like just like a writer uh, expresses himself through his writings, like a, a, he, he authors a book, and when you read the book, you really get to know the author. So too, Hashem here is giving us his Torah. It's like wild. He gives us a Torah. He's like, here, this is my uh, writings. This is who I am. This is ex an expression of me. So as soon as you learn Torah, you connect to me, to Hashem. I'm like wrapped up, it says in the Kabbalah, in Zohar. I'm wrapped up. Hashem is wrapped up in the Torah. So when we connect to the Torah, when we learn Torah, we're kind of ingesting Hashem's words. We're, we're bringing it into our lives. We're internalizing it and we're becoming close to the infinite, which is kind of, kind of crazy, okay? So one is the Torah, another is Shabbat, uh, which means that during the week we have, you know, we're very much in the finite world, in the physical world, we have distractions, we have things going on. And on Shabbat, we have a chance to connect to the infinite. It's almost, again, like a halfway between Hashem and us, between heaven and earth. It's like a midway point. That's the word. Midway point between the infinite and the finite, the physical and the spiritual. And therefore, when we connect to Shabbat or when we sit on Shabbat or whatever we do on Shabbat really has that higher spiritual reality to it. And we can connect to God. It's like a time where Hashem just says, here you go, I'm giving you a gift. And if you sit on Shabbat, you are already in a bit of an infinite space within the finite world. So if you just think about that for a bit, or you just connect to me on that day, it's a whole different ball game than if you try and connect during the week. And last but not least is our neshama. Hashem gave us this gift, which is a soul, and it's, it's like a halfway house, or a midway point, or an average, or a medium, between heaven and earth, between Hashem and us, between the infinite and the finite. So if we can just connect to our soul, you know, if we can just figure out what is our soul trying to tell us, we basically have a little bit of God in us. Now that can't really mean that because, because God is infinite and an infinite thing can't be a part. You can't take little parts of the infinite and divide it up and put it into people. That's not possible. So what does it mean? I don't know. I'm going to just leave that as a question mark. It's a paradox. I don't need to worry my pretty little head about it, as my father always says. Yeah, it's fun. 
Um, so I'm just not going to worry about that, but I do know that it's true. Hashem gave us a neshama, and it's a chelik eloka mimal. It says it in, in the Zohar that Hashem gave us a piece of himself within us. How could that be? So it's the infinite within the finite. So it's that midway point between heaven and earth. Now, I've been learning a little bit through uh, some meditation that I've been doing, and I know my friend Karen does not want me to keep calling her out and does not want me to give her credit and also does not want me to say that I'm not a meditation person. Sorry, my hair covering is totally coming off. I'm going to fix that up for a sec. She doesn't want me to say that I am a, so not a meditative person. But like, hey, I, I'm kind of, I kind of wasn't. Maybe I'm becoming a little bit more meditative these days, but I'm very um, in my head all the time, you know? Like I thought that I identify with, with who I am, I thought, was my thoughts and my feelings and my character traits maybe. And I thought that was the soul. I, I thought the soul was just like a conglomerate of my thoughts, feelings, and character traits, right? That makes sense. But no, it seems like the soul is not the thoughts or the feelings or the personality necessarily character traits because we can have some negative character traits and those can't possibly be associated with um, godliness, with, with that little piece of Hashem, so to speak. So what is our neshama? Our neshama seems to be separate from all those things. It's the I. It's who is observing all of these thoughts, feelings, character traits. The chooser. The one who stands outside of all that and is not any of those things. It's, it's just that little spiritual, incredible, insightful, wise piece of me that is really an aspect of God, so to speak. It's that midway. So those three things um, are, are, are ways to connect to Hashem in this world, even though it seems kind of impossible. Uh, the more, so the, we want to take advantage of that. And so in that last week's Parsha, the Jewish people already had their neshama. Obviously, we all are born with the soul. So they had that connection and they already had Shabbat because Shabbat was given to the Jewish people before the giving of the Torah or the giving of the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. They got the Torah in Marah, which is in the previous Parsha, in B'Shalach, before they had a chance to get the Ten Commandments and the Revelation from God. So they had two out of three, and then in last week's Parsha, they got the third, the avenue to connect to Hashem, which is the Torah and the mitzvot. So what I want to just give over now is the idea that maybe if we can try as much as possible to utilize those three gifts that Hashem gave us. Shabbat, right? If we can just like take advantage of Shabbat and realize that it's that midway point between heaven and earth and we can connect much more accessibly to Hashem. And if we can learn Torah, just learn a little Torah and realize, oh my God, we're learning Hashem's words, Hashem's ideas. Hashem's expression of himself and he's choosing to give it to us. Here you go. Here I am. Take me. It's amazing. And the third idea is the neshama. If we can learn to be a little more meditative, which means disconnecting from all the other stuff, the noise, the thoughts, the feelings, the, the, the different, you know, things that we think are our character, but really... They create a lot of noise, but they're not necessarily who we are. So if we can connect to that soul within us, then it means we're connecting to infinite wisdom, to infinite insight, to infinite knowledge. It's like so exciting. So uh, let's try and do that. Just an idea from Nitzvah Shalom. Have a great week. Bye.